Shalom, Shalom, and the star of souls, but give no praise to Allah, Shem, El Shai, that when I was supposed to JMS and honest to you, but let's start doing the work in truth. What well, sincerity. So I'm going to do this real quick one. Uh, it says Hezbollah warns hundreds of thousands would retaliate if conflict with Israel erupts. Right, and um, basically they say that the next war with Israel will draw hundreds of thousands of fights from across the entire Middle East. Right, and in doing so, I mean, so this is 23rd of June. And today's the 24th, this was late yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, in doing this, man, you know, if, if Syria gets involved, that means Russia's involved. You know, obviously Israel is an American ally, so if anyone's attacking Israel, then America's getting involved, right? Which basically uh, fulfills the scripts and fulfills the prophecy, so I'm just going to get right into that. You can, you know, read it, uh, you know. Uh, for yourself, this is Jeremiah 15 45. Says, Therefore, hear ye the counsel of Yahweh that he take them against Babylon. New Babylon today is America, the land of uh, America. Babel is confusion, Ron is land, so the land of confusion. That's where you look at America, that is the land of confusion today. Uh, you can also read Revelation 11 and 8, dead bodies. Uh, you know, that's referring to the Israelites, the dead bodies that shall be in the. Uh, in the city, the great city, which is called, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, right, and that's Babylon, that great city, he says, and his purpose, that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, and that's talking about Israel, right, there, the prophecies state that it's going to be something with them that's going to wager this war, to really get this war started, right, says, surely the leaf of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Right, says, and at the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved. The cry is heard among the nations. I'm going to jump to uh, Joel 3. We'll read from 9 to 12. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Because in this article, we're saying hundreds of thousands, but this is going to be a major war involving a lot of people. Right, he says, but beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I'm strong. Basically say, yo, put everything into this war. You'll be looking at countries that have diverted funds from agriculture into into uh, into military hardware. You've got countries like Pakistan and India that have joined the arms race, the nuclear arms race at that. Right, it says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither caused thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. So let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right, Jehoshaphat that means translated Yahweh should part the valley of Yahweh's judgment. Right, it says, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Right, and that's talking about that Middle East region. It's going to be the great meat grinder, as several brothers have put it. Right, and we'll close on this. Revelation 11 and 14 says the second woe has passed. Now woe means destruction, so the second destruction has passed. And behold, the third destruction cometh quickly. Right, and that is uh, referencing the world wars, because when you, and it, it really and truly, it's been a short space of time between the first, second, and third world war. Right, throughout the history of man, there's not been a world war such as the like as we've had, you know, the first, the second, and the third. But in you know in less than you know in just over a hundred years, we've gone from having nothing like that to low you know three, and this one that's to come is gonna kill a lot of people, man. This could you say two thirds of Israel? What it really says um, a third of Israel shall be saved in in America, right? And then it also says um, that America is gonna be completely destroyed. Now the population of America is three hundred and thirty million, right now. So, you know, probably more. So if you're thinking about it like that, let's say a third, you know, let's say America's all Jake, right? And you've got, you know, a third of that number, so 110 million Jake in America, that means 220 million are still going to die. And that's just in America alone. There's going to be missiles dropped over here and in, in, in on London, around all the great cities. Scriptures talk about because of their pride. Because of the pride of the cities in Second Ezra 15, I believe. So with that, so I just saw that I wanted to bring that out. Masayshalawam.